you should be able to see a screen, a slide that says intention. And there's a picture of a woman, she's holding her laptop and she's thinking about how she's going to create her freedom lifestyle business. Okay, so this is our first slide. And, and this is what we're talking about today because those of us who are dealing with flatline wages while our expenses have not gotten any less are trying to get creative about how we're going to solve the problem of making sure that we can pay for living on the planet on which we were born. So I want to talk to you about, as we're unzipping the mystery, I want to talk to you about creating wealth. Now, here, here's my definition of what it means to create wealth. Well-being for the world, emotional intelligence in our relationships, abundance and access to the natural resources that we need to live, letting go of fear, manipulation, exploitation, and overconsumption, time freedom, and happiness and health. So here's what I want you to know about me. This presentation isn't about me. So you can find out about me I'm all over the internet and I will not make you sit and listen to me spend 15 minutes telling you my story and how much money I've made and which international countries and sharing all those pictures. Trust me, all of that has been great for me in my life, but you really don't need to hear about it. You need to be thinking about what you want and what you need and what your choices are going to be. So. That's it. That's gonna. That's all the about me that you're gonna get right now. My focus is going to be about you, okay? And because we're about to experience the online version of income inequality, if you're not truly in the game by the end of this year online, you will have missed your chance to do anything more than generate an additional sum to apply towards either the repayment of debt or the necessities of life, I would like to see you succeed beyond those particular boundaries. Now, for instance, my heart goes out to the people of Flint, Michigan, right now, who are, who are who have been poisoned by city policy decisions. There are now thousands of children in Flint who have been and will continue to be impacted by exposure to toxic levels of lead in their public water supply. The water supply was shifted, cost shifted, to using river water without proper filtration. Why? To save money as public coffers shrink in Flint, Michigan. Why are the public coffers shrinking? They're shrinking because the flat line wages of what used to be the middle class can't do any more than they're doing. Meanwhile, the upper echelons, the one and two percent, are doing all kinds of uh, tax evasion and uh, inversions and moving their corporate headquarters. And it's all legal. And that's policy. Again, we're looking at policies that are being enacted that are very harmful to the well-being of um, moms and dads and kids and a lot of those folks in Flint are business owners and I don't know what they're going to do. Um, it's already too late. The horse is out of the barn and um, the governor is apologizing, and the, the, is apologizing and the mayor is apologizing. But apologizing when you've already shot someone and they're bleeding to death kind of doesn't count when you've already poisoned thousands of children and you're apologizing, but you can't get the lead out of their bodies, it kind of doesn't count. So right now, people in Flint are drinking bottled water, which is probably bottled and sold by Nestle or another business whose business model actually robs local communities of their clean, pure aquifers without paying any form of local tax to the communities being robbed of the water that's under the ground on which they are living. Okay, so are, are you getting the picture? I certainly hope so. Well, let's move on. I think that we're going to need this kind of really eyes completely open clarity 
to be able to figure out the step-by-step -step adjustments we need to move into success as we're um, growing, maintaining our businesses in the very near future. So you're going to want to think about the actions that you're going to take. And this includes, you know, what's going to happen as you are dealing with these cost shifts that are coming along in your life or in your business. I think shortly the ability to generate substantial online profits will be shifting to those with college and professional degrees whose wage and income options are today being deliberately undermined and underfunded. Now, I know of a young university professor, a woman with tenure, who launched an online program about weight loss. She is trained and she teaches physiology and biochemistry, and her first product launch generated over $11,000 in a matter of a couple of weeks. And then she wisely uh, divided that uh, income up. Some of it got used for her family, and some of it was reinvested so that she could do her next launch even more effectively. And um, she did. Whoops, let me go back. And um, her second launch generated over $100,000. Now, she's taken leave of absence from her university position to con concentrate full-time on her online business. So I want you to ask yourself, what are your income goals in terms of online sales in 2016? Because you're going to really need to approach every action step from this point of view. And this is why I designed SmartClick's success systems and why I created my Funnel Cake marketing program because, you know, we have to lighten up at the same time we uh, get very smart and very serious about what we're doing. And I'm talking about people with really small businesses that are just one step away from being something that they're so completely passionate about in their lives. This woman, this professor, was passionate about weight loss. She herself lost 200 pounds, and she figured she had a lot of authority with which to talk to people about the, uh, the realistic goals, the anxiety, the stresses, the pressures, the successes, the failures, and the challenges of being someone who needs to lose a substantial amount of weight and keep it off, which she herself has done. So um, I think that's a fabulous story. But I want you to take a look around again and see how much you know, your, whatever it is that you're offering and being paid for or have been offering, if you're doing the research and you're listening and you're following the news in whatever way you follow it, I want you to ask yourself, what is now being offered for free by bigger companies who can afford to acquire the customers you are about to lose before you even have the chance to make your offer? Now, I want you to imagine well-paid professionals who will have the cash to invest in setting up lucrative online businesses so they can protect themselves and their families in the game of money musical chairs that we play in America. And if you're on the short end of that stick um, and you are not careful, you're going to be hurt. And it may be a hurt that is really... Um, substantial. So um, I want you to think about idea, research, structure, implementation, testing, and feedback. And let's look at what's involved here. So let's go down a little bit deeper. You really do need a concept. For instance, this young woman who is a professor had a concept about how people struggle with weight loss. This is, of course, one of the most um, popular lifestyle changes that anyone will try to make one or more times in their life, and billions of dollars are spent. And this is a big market, a big niche, Millions of people are trying to lose weight. So that's great because that's that's going to be a, a successful step up as you start out pr 
presuming that you do things well. Then you have to have the structure. So let's say you've got a great idea. Now this young doctor that I was referring to, he has a structure because he's actually in the medical system. He's also a personal trainer. Uh, he's done that in his spare time. He's not going to have difficulty finding a structure in which to begin to build his coaching programs online. Now the structure usually includes either a website or um, some kind of uh, group area online where people can gather and where they can also get together to um, share information like I'm sharing with you now on this webinar. So that's your structure. And then the next piece is implementation. Well, implementation is huge because if you have the concept and you build the structure, there are many, many, many people who have really nice online websites. They get no traffic. They're not converting anyone into sales. And it um, becomes a drain on resources when you're not able to break even and then scale up so that your business becomes more hands-off and you can reach more people actually doing less. And that's what I really would like you to think about um, as we go along here. So implementation is really a very important part of this process. This is your major takeaway today, in addition to the information I've given you about what I see as online trends that are coming forward. Think about concept, think about structure, think about implementation. Now, implementation, when you're thinking about your online business, a lot of my clients who come to me for coaching are really confused about this. They don't understand the connected stacking between image URLs, document links, video links, audio file links, web pages where all this stuff goes in, and then how that also ties into email and autoresponders. They have a really difficult time with this, and I'm talking about super talented and brilliant people. This is what I want you to remember. This chart is important for you because you've got to be able to organize your information in a way that you can keep track of all of this. And this is one of the things that I begin to help you do. First, through the Smart Click Success System, so you can learn how to copy, cut, and paste and go a little bit beyond that if you're not already there. And then move forward into thinking about building your marketing funnel, and you're going to build more than one. And that you can use these kinds of, oh, I have to make sure all of these things are taken care of and they're all on one page and I can look at them and I know where all this information has been checked, it's been tested. So this is a really important image for you. Now, again, this is what I'm talking about is unzipping the mystery. And I want to show to you what is hiding in plain sight for so many new online business owners who just don't get the connected pieces of the process. So this is again another chart and if you're on my list I'll probably email you. I made a little video about this or at least send you this as a PDF so you can keep it handy as you're organizing your content that you're going to, um, to push into offers, get into a structure, implement, and then you're going to have a funnel that is going to convert and result in sales. So now, um, the other thing that's happened recently is I have just finished to putting together all the technical pieces of a very small list building launch in JVZoo. And I've done that because I wanted to be able to really coach my clients through those steps. And there's nothing like doing it yourself to be able to help someone else. Uh, it's the midwife principle. So it became really clear in this process that what was going on in the JVZoo platform, the difficulty was meant to be a hurdle. Their process of setting up an affiliate product in JVZoo for sale for other people to come in and support your building your list and growing your business, the process is meant to filter out, excuse me, the stupid, the disorganized, the impatient, the technically, technically weak entrepreneurs, and anyone who hasn't got the communication skills to tackle the missing bits of information in the process so that you can actually complete setting up a launch in a marketplace 
where affiliates will choose to support your product or offer, and you can actually make some really great money. This is a big hurdle. I am pretty technically proficient, but I had to rely on my communication skills and asking very, very clear questions from support about, excuse me, on the process page here, you ask me to do this, but there's no real way for me to do this that I can see. Please either make me a short video or send me the page link so that I can complete this next step. Now, JBZoo is a huge organization, right? This wasn't there. I will tell you that their customer service, thank God, was wonderful, but I had to push my launch back by two weeks because of the way that um, the clarity didn't present itself to me as a user of JVZoo. And I've been on JVZoo for years. I'm an affiliate. I sell affiliate products. But coming in as a seller and setting up my products now at JVZoo was a new experience. And um, I watched all the videos. I looked at everything online. And there were still unanswered questions. So that's important. Now, I've documented the experience, and of course, I'm going to offer coaching on it and, and, and help anyone get through the technical details of launching. You know, everybody I know of is they're producing just wonderful content and outstanding products right now, and um, they get stuck on this part of it. So and that is my business model. I actually help people move through this, these sticking points, and that's coaching. But it also brings up some very, very interesting um, dynamics for me as a coach. So let's look at um, this slide because I want to have you re really take this home. You've got to know what your core message is. What's your funnel model, your structure? Which tools are you using to implement the marketing and outreach connecting you to your ideal customers and clients. And then here's a really important question. When it comes to the testing, who's going to help you do that? When I put together my sheet with all of my links, all of them, and there are a lot of them, and they're multi-linking and they're multi-platform links. My lead page link has to line up with JVZoo if I'm doing it as an affiliate offer or it has to line up to my PayPal Stripe account so that there's an order page. And there has to be a connection within that payment portal to send someone a confirmation email so that they can access their content, use it, and begin to develop that relationship with you around what it is that they've just bought for you. My question that I want you to answer today is who have you got to help you with this process? because this is where you'll end up pulling your hair out and this is the kind of thing that can really tank a launch of a great product because things were not tested beforehand. So for instance, today, I, I mean, I've done used webinar jam before, but I went through the testing process of this webinar again today because I wanted to make sure that things were working. Okay, so this is important, and I, I can send you that little test, track, and tweak document, too, if you're on my list. So now, who are these people? This happens to be a shot of uh, London, one of my favorite cities. And these are the people that need what you have to offer. These are the people that you want to be able to connect with them on their cell phones and their portable devices. Now, if you look at the ages of these people in this area, this is all a shopping district in London, you can see that this is really full of young professional people or young people, right? These are the people who are still in a mode where they uh, are willing to expand their universes by perhaps taking on some additional education, or I know a young woman who just completed her ins uh, insurance and financial services certification, and we've been talking about how she could use webinars to begin to grow her business and develop her client base, right? So these people that you're looking at, they need auto insurance, they need life insurance, they need health insurance. 
They need, um, maybe some of these people are in uh, relationships and marriages where they're having infertility issues and they would like some coaching on how to get through the process of in vitro of, uh, uh, fertilization. I will tell you the unlimited amounts of opportunity if you're thinking strategically about what you know, what you're comfortable with, and what you can then organize to help someone. Now, that could just be simply eliminating huge stress from daily life, right? I, I'm thinking about, because of some horrific things I've been seeing online recently, I'm thinking about doing a parenting program because they're developing applications that honest to God, this is there's an application in Japan that you can put on the phone, and it will the based on your baby's facial expression, it will it will tell you what it is that the baby needs. That is insane. Okay, so if we have moms and dads who are not bonding enough with their own children to push through the relationship issues to understand what it is that a newborn needs, we are in big, big, big. We're in worse trouble than, you know, than I, we're, we're in a lot of trouble as it is, but we're in even worse trouble. So I'm actually thinking about doing that because I have experience as a mom. I, I raised my two babies. I breastfed them. Um, very happy, healthy babies. I picked them up. I understood what they were communicating. It's just not that hard, right? If you get yourself off your cell phone and pay attention, it's not that hard. But these are the people that need you. And what I would ask you to remember is that they want you to care about them. Right? We're all self-interested. It's all about what's in it for me. Please keep that in mind as you're thinking about how you're going to approach um, a sustainable and possibly scalable online business. With your, if you're a small entrepreneur, especially in a specialty niche. Okay. So now the choice is going to be yours. Um, this for me is a very wonderful picture. It's the, for me, it represents my internal bridge, my inner experience of moving from one space to another in my own life as I am growing. As I am exploring and making discoveries uh, about my world and who I am and how I want to be who I am and the kind of world I want to live in. And what I've learned for the last 25 years is that ultimately it comes down to choice. And we're living in a time where the, um, the presentation the policy presentation, the economic presentation, the political presentation is that our choices are limited. And I would say to you that our choices are not limited. It is the system that is limited and that one of the choices that we can make is to transition from um, following along with what the system says we can do and moving into what I call new dimensions business where we are creating what we want to create and we're disregarding those aspects of the system that are not relevant to what we want to manifest. So yeah, there's another little takeaway for you. And this is really important. So um, I want you to think about your choices when it comes to what does the freedom lifestyle mean to you. Now, as I've mentioned before, I've already completed the world travel I was most interested in. I've already developed and delivered international programs in collaboration with healers and physicians and um, uh, a two-year training course that I delivered to students who went with me. You know, I mean, I've done all this. Now, I've also had my fill of five-star hotels and first-class flights, and I will tell you that that experience, that stuff is overrated. I, I, you know, you may feel you have to have it and you want to experience it and that's your choice, but I would say 
you know, be wise when those opportunities come to you because you may find that you're uh, chasing something that ultimately isn't fulfilling and it puts you in a relationship dynamic where if you're always the leader, then who do you have to lean on? And who do you have to lead you forward into your next area of growth? In the online business world, that is usually answered through networking, coaching, mentoring, and mastermind groups. But you need to be sure that you have access to that so that you are in a position to be aware and awake about what's going on in your life and that you can really appreciate the dynamic connection between your internal reality and what you live through in life every day. Okay, so that's enough of that. Now, um, again, I'm focusing on the creation of wealth. And for me, that means wisdom applied to worldwide well-being emotional intelligence guiding all intelligence guiding all of my relationships abundance and access to essential natural resources such as drinkable water letting go of exploitation fear manipulation and the overconsumption that is strip mining the only planet that we have to live on time freedom and the choice to prioritize well-being, our well-being, and the well-being of those we love and care for, and happiness, healing, and health. So does this kind of uh, creation of wealth resonate with you? I hope so. If it does, then we can talk about taking the next step. So I want you now to think about where you are in your wisdom cycle for co-creating wealth. And understanding that generosity, gratitude, and sharing will be the foundations of the emergent economy and um, the new dimensions business, which many, many young people are going to uh, blossom into bringing to us because we live in a super creative place. The planet wants to co-create with us. We have ideas. The planet wants us to be able to experience our seeing things that we desire and have as ideas come to reality. We're, we're, this is an amazing place where we're experiencing our spiritual selves right now. So I want to thank you for jumping on the webinar today because I want you to be aware of these things that I'm talking about with you. I do want you to move out of confusion. I love this image because it's really like a powerful unzip. Unzip the mystery. Get yourself launched the right way. Course correct now before you get too deep into uh, dead ends. And there are lots of them online. It is so easy to find yourself floating down river because you're floating and you're kind of floating along and bam, you you just end up dead-ended and stuck and no longer really in the flow. So today was about unzipping the mystery for you when it comes to very basic stuff. How do you smart click? How do you manage your time online? How do you generate your very first lead magnet? How do you understand and master the pieces that are involved in the implementation of the structure be, that's holding together and supporting your concept, right? That's what's got to happen. And I will tell you that when I was first getting started online, this kind of information just wasn't available. And I will say since I've been working on this program and I've been out there on the internet and getting to know more people, what I'm finding is that more people, bigger fish, are suddenly tripping over the obvious thing that I'm working with now. So I'm going to have tremendous competition for this kind of <laughs> clarity, creating clarity for newbies. And I, I'm 
I don't like it, but that's the real world. And I, I hope I'll be up to the challenge. So re remember again, think about wealth being experiencing material abundance and comfort without selling your soul or hurting life in order to have that experience. 